Hey everyone, Fiona here. Um, just checking in, I'm currently on, I've finished day three of my extended water fast. Um, I'm feeling pretty good. I think I'm properly into ketosis at the moment. My ketone levels are up near three. Uh, what that means is that my body is no longer burning glucose for fuel. It's um, burning fat, which it turns into ketones and the body uses the ketones as fuel and the brain uses the ketones as fuel. So I'm actually feeling quite clear headed today, which is good. I, I am struggling with sleep a bit. I'm not sleeping very much, but I believe that's a fasting side effect because your body's not working as hard. So you don't require as much rest. I'm not tired at all. Uh, it's a weekend, so I get to chill a bit, which is very nice. Um, I just wanted to touch on fasting in general and why I'm an advocate of fasting and also of the Wim Hof Method. So both of these tools reduce inflammation in the body. That's been scientifically proven. There's many research articles on that. So inflammation related diseases um, account for three out of five of every death. So they include stroke, heart disorders, cancer, diabetes, acute respiratory illnesses, and a bunch more. So if Overall, we can reduce inflammation in our body, be it by just intermittent fasting during the day. I, I do understand that extended fasting is a bit extreme for most people, but it's something that I just wanted to do once and see what effect it had on me. I do usually just practice intermittent fasting as a general rule. So by reducing inflammation, um, hopefully I can reduce the risk of getting those diseases and also cure the inflammatory conditions I currently have, which are dermatitis, arthritis, and um, asthma. So I just wanted to um, explain a little bit about the research that I have done over the last few years. So I've read so many books and articles. I'm actually on a water fasting group on Facebook, which is I've been on there for years, run by a guy called Justin Lacey. Hello, you do a great job. Uh, he's got a massive amount of resources and scientific articles on there if you ever want to have a look. Um, some of the other books I've read are ones by The Science and Art of Fasting by Herbert Shelton and his other book, The Hygiene System. Um, Jason Fung's books, I've got a couple of his actually, Complete Guide to Fasting. And Dr. Joel Furman's book, which this one's actually really good, Fasting and Eating for Health. And there's a lot of science and he references all the scientific articles in there and one I recently just bought um, was by Dave Asprey so he's also an advocate of fasting um, plus uh, Dr Goldhammer who runs True North Fasting Centre in California has a book but I had it on audiobook I don't have the physical copy called um, The Pleasure Trap and that really explains how we got to this inflammatory condition and, and why fasting is so good to improve it. So yeah, there's a massive amount of resources out there if anyone is interested in reading it. I do follow the fasting protocols of most of these doctors, which is um, water only, uh, rest as much as you can. So I'm not, I'm missing my gym and I'm missing my weight training, um, but I am going to rest while I'm fasting. I, I have gone for the odd walk, but nothing overly strenuous. And I try and get in the sunshine every day. And the other thing is I don't put anything on my skin. So I try it because we expel the toxins through our skin and other ways in the body. So I haven't been wearing makeup, no moisturizers, no deodorant, nothing. Um, and actually someone said to me today that my skin looks really good. So maybe we don't need all that crap. I'm not sure. Anyway, that's um, day three. I also, I will touch on this another time if anyone's interested in the Wim Hof Method, but that's a really good book of his um, explaining the method in full but there is a lot on YouTube and um, there's an app also so if anyone's interested in that but I'll run through what exactly the Wim Hof method is in another post um, so I'll sign off for now I'm actually uh, my other half and I have actually booked in tonight to go have a salt bath so I'm really looking forward to that I have never done that before it's um, a magnesium bath it's apparently very relaxing so that should be very interesting and I'm looking forward to it and I'll catch you tomorrow. Bye. Also, I forgot to just mention, I'll put some links at the bottom of the YouTube group to some resources and the Facebook group as well, if you're interested. Okay, so this is our flotation tank. How amazing does this look? 
He's coming with me. Hello. Yay. Yay. So the flotation tank, the salt bath with the magnesium in it, was so good. We both meditated, fell asleep. And uh, it's actually got 400 kilograms of magnesium in there. It was the most relaxing thing. It was like floating in space. <sighs> Definitely do that again.